I really hate the Montreal Canadiens. This video is gonna suck. Oh, then this happens. I'm really shut my eyes. I'm not gonna watch. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Wallfrog, and I talk all things hockey. So, this video, I'm gonna be previewing the Montreal Canadiens. 2021 NHL season. So I know in the intro I said I hate the Canadians, all that. I don't. Um, it was just a joke. Obviously, they beat the Penguins. I'm a huge Penguins fan. But obviously, I am over that. But we're going to be going over their season next year, and I'm going to be previewing it and see how they're going to do. But let's start off with their cap space. They basically have zero. Um, they have 300,000 cap space. You really can't do much with that at all, obviously. But if they want to make trades or sign anyone in free agency, that have to trade someone to get that cap space. But other than that, their draft next year is absolutely insane. They have one first round pick, two second round picks, three third round picks, three fourth round picks, three fifth round picks, one sixth and one seventh. That's absolutely insane. So they're probably gonna be trading a lot or one be bad next season. So all those picks are very high for them. So that's a good draft right there. But let's go to the forwards. It's very good forward lineup and we'll see how they think they're gonna do next season but let's do this let's start off with your young superstar slash all-star jonathan Druin. um 5.5 million for three more years he's 25 years old um i know he didn't play that much last year he got hurt but other than that he's still a stud in the nhl i think he's gonna be absolutely nasty even though he already is but he's gonna be good and if he didn't get, if he did not get hurt last year he's probably gonna get around 60 points so it's very good right there. I'm expecting a good next season as long as he stays healthy, which I'm hoping he does. But Druid is a very good player. Then there's Josh Anderson, 5.5 million for seven more years. So they just got signed from the Columbus Blue Jackets to the Canadians. But he's 26 years old. He's still young, which is good. Um, he did get hurt last season as well, just like Druin. But he's still a very good player. He's done it basically like every season with the Columbus Blue Jackets. He put up around 40 points, even to 50 points. So he's good, we know he could uh, produce some points and he's gonna be a good right winger on that first line. Then we go to Thomas Tatar, their best player from last season in my opinion, 4.8 million for only one more year. So I don't know if he resigns, he's 29 years old, he's good, I bet you he likes it there. He's their best player basically. So 29 years old, like I said before, but he's very good. Um, I did not expect him to put up 60 something points like he did last year, but he's very good. He's underrated in my opinion, but I don't know what it'll be next year. I don't know if he'll be on first line, second line. Don't matter. I feel like he's still going to be putting up the points. And still, a very good pickoff for one more year. He might get extended. Who knows? Then there's Tyler Toffoli, who they just signed as well from Vancouver Canucks. 4.2 million for four more years. 28 years old. This guy's good. Um, I know he used to be very good on the Kings. And he was okay. He put up like 10 points, whatever, Vancouver. But I'm expecting him to play very well on the Canadians. Um, he has a lot of freedom. He's gonna be in the top six, 100%. I think he's gonna be very good. Um, even though he's only 28, he's a lot of veteran presence for the team. He's won Stanley Cups, he's done all that stuff. I feel like he's gonna be a great player for the Canadians. Then we go to Brandon Gallagher, who just signed an extension for 6.5 million for six more years. This guy is very good. Um, yeah, he's a little small, but he's a feisty little guy. Um, he can put the puck in the net. He's a very good player. He's still physical, all that stuff. He puts around 50, 60 points a year. Very good player. Um, my opinion very underrated as well but i think he's a great player to have montreal canadians should be happy let me go to paul byron uh 3.4 for three more years um he he's he's pretty good um he puts around 30 35 points a year um still pretty good we'll take that um doesn't break the bank with this cap hit but other than that paul byron is a very good player yes he's a little small but still puts up the points let me go to philip deneau 3 million for only one more year, he's gonna get re-signed or extended because he puts up around like 40, 45 points a year. Very good player, very underrated. I bet you no one even thinks about him on their like top list of underrated players, but he's very good, trust me. Then we're gonna hop down to Yaspiri Katkanemi. So obviously he's 20 years old, very young. He's very big, he's a good power forward, and he's a good player, he really is. He's very, very skilled. Um, he can skate, he's a power forward, like I said before, but he's a good center. I think he's a really good young player. He's going to be good in the NHL for sure. He definitely did not have the best sophomore season with only eight points. But his first rookie year, he put up like 30, 35 points, which is obviously not insanely good, but it's still very good as a young center. It's really hard to put up a lot of points as a young center, but I think he has a lot of potential and I think he'll reach it. Same here with Nick Suzuki. He's, he's 5'11", 
but he still is a very good center. He put up 41 points last year as a rookie, which is very good. He popped off in the playoffs. He did a lot of good things on this Montreal team, and I think he's going to be a very good young asset to the Canadians, just like Katsukanemi in the future. But let's go to the defense here. Obviously, your captain, Shea Weber, his contract is not very good, like I've said in many videos. He's not the greatest contract, but he's a very good player. Yes, he's 35 years old. And he signed 7.8 million for six more years at 35. It's not a great contract at all, but yes, he's very good. He's your captain, but contract I don't like, but he's a very good player still, but I don't know how long he could be this good. Uh, Jeff Petrie, I don't like you. But 5.5 million for one more year, then he got extended for 6.2 for four more years. Um, he's a good player, 32 years old as well, so he's a little old. Um, he's getting on the older side, but still a very good player. Right hand, right shot D-man, which is very good for everyone. So that's a good player right there. Then there's Joel Edmondson. He's not terrible, 3.5 for four more years. He can put up around like 20 points a year, which is it's a pretty good for a defenseman. But he's not meant to be scoring, but he's still a good player to have. He's a good second D pair. Sometimes he can sneak up into the first D pair with Weber or anything like that, but he's a good player for sure. Then there's Ben Schrott, also like Edmondson, put up around like 20 points a year. He's not going to be scoring 50 points a year or anything like that, but still a good defenseman that could lock up on D and just play good defense and stick up in the top four for your team. Um, other than that, then there's Victor Mete, who I get to. Um, he's a good young player. But he cannot score for the life of him. Like he, he had two, his two first seasons, his rookie and his sophomore season. He did not score once, but he finally put the puck in the back of the net this season and started finding scoring. He only scored four, but it's a good start. But he's a good young player. He's a little short, but other than that, I think he's gonna be a good future. He's gonna be a good player in the future. And here's your good suit right here. You have Carey Price and Jake Allen as your goalie duo. Obviously, I've been saying this for a long, long time. You can check every video about goalies. I say Carey Price is the best goalie in the NHL by far. Um, I don't think it's even comparable. Yes, Vasilevsky. Yes, Ben Bishop. Yes, all these good goalies are good. But none of them are Carey Price good. I watched the entire playoffs between the Canadians and Penguins. And Carey Price just destroyed us. But, that's yes, his contract's 10, 10.5 million for six more years. It might not be good the last five to seven years, but who cares? They're trying to win now, and you got a good team, especially you got a good forward. And I feel like you got to up your defense, and then if you do that, you guys are going to be lethal. But those two goalies, 100%, like Jake Allen as well, can be a starter like he was in St. Louis. He's a good player for sure, and I think the Canadians are very good set and goalie for the next three to six years. So let me predict what they're gonna do next season. So I'm not expecting them to be number one in the Atlantic Division, but I'm expecting them to win a wild card spot in the Eastern Conference. Obviously it's gonna be very tough. There's gonna be a lot of good teams in the East. So I feel like they're gonna to have to beat out like a Hurricanes, maybe even Toronto, something like that, to get into the playoffs. But once they get in the playoffs, like we know last year, they could win anything with Carey Price in that. So that is this prediction, guys. But yeah. If you guys did enjoy it at all, you could drop a like. Make sure to comment down below how do you think the Canadians will do next season. I'm expecting them, like I said before, to be decent. And we'll see if they can sneak into the playoffs. But yeah, guys, thank you. I'll see you guys in my next little video. Subscribe, please. See ya.